Hey, welcome to a Geography Masterclass. Today we're going to learn about the Shept Method. My name is Mr. Salagaris. This is part of my Year 8 Geography course. Okay, so the Shept Method um, is used by geographers when uh, looking at data to help them identify and consider factors that would influence that data. Okay, uh, the Shep method is broken down into six different points. Okay, so each of the letters stands for a particular factor that geographers uh, consider when they're looking at that data. Okay, they might consider S for social, so social factors like people, society, culture, how they interact with each other, and how that influences the data um, that they're gathering. They might look at H for historical factors that are linked to events from the past and think about how that influences the data um, that they're looking at. E for environmental, so environmental factors uh, that influence the data. Economic factors such as money, income, spending, uh, or for example, something like the cost of a building, how that might influence the data. Uh, political, P for political factors that are linked to the government, so laws and regulations, uh, and technological. So factors linked to the use and access of technology. Okay, it's really important for geography students to understand these six components of the Shept method. Um, you'll need them when you're looking at data and other situations uh, throughout the term, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like it, add comments, and watch the video again if there was one point or something that you missed. Thanks for watching.